The default checkbox that Bubble gives us is not very good. You cannot style it, it will only be the size. So if you change the size here, it will change the size of the group, but not of the checkbox. And if you change the size here, it will change the size of the text, but not of the checkbox. If you put it checked or unchecked and you change the color, you'll realize that only the color of the text changes. So it's really hard to make this checkbox look well. Something that I usually do is replace this checkbox with icons. For example, you could be using this icon for an unchecked checkbox, this icon for the checked one, or this combination, or this other combination. I think it looks way better. Let's see it with a real example. We have a list of email addresses from which we want to select just a few to send them an email. I have set up these icons to make it work, and as we can see, it works. Then if I click again, I'm deselecting the email that I just selected. To do this, you will basically need to do three things. Set a custom state, change the appearance of the icon in the conditional tab, and create two workflows. Let's see it. First, the custom state. I like to put them in the page. So I have created one called custom state selected emails. In my case, I have a list of texts because the emails are stored in a data field of type text here. The second thing that you will need to do is change the appearance of this icon in the conditional tab. And basically what I said here is if the page custom state selected emails contains this email address, so the parent groups fake emails email address, then change the icon to this other one. And now what we will need to do is tell Bubble that when we click, we're going to be changing the list so that it contains this email address. Therefore, the icon will change. If we look at the repeating group, it's just doing a simple search for the fake emails. And then here I have the email address field that I showed you before. So now we know that if the element, if this email address is on the list, the icon will be like this, and if it's not, it will be the default one, this one. You could choose the combination that you wanted just by clicking here and selecting the icon that you want when this email is on the list and selecting the icon that you want when the email is not on the list. And now the last thing that you need to do is create two workflows. The first one will be to tell Bubble that when the list contains this email and the icon is clicked, then change the state selected emails to remove this item. The other one is when the icon is clicked and the selected emails list doesn't contain this email, then please include it in the list with this plus item. And just by doing this, by having these two workflows, the conditional and the custom state, you achieve this behavior and you have your custom checkboxes. Also, now you will have this list of selected emails in a custom state and you will be able to actually do things with it. For example, you could send an email to these three people or if you selected 10, you could send an email at the same time to 10 different people. We will see that in another tutorial and I hope that you understood the mechanics of this little trick.